The sun is just coming up on the Gulf of Mexico and we are on the hunt for any fossils that may have been uncovered during the hurricane. I'm Zach Fernaka and today I'm diving with Justin and Kevin. Come on with us. I reached the ocean bottom. It's apparent that the visibility is still recovering from the storm. It's like swimming in green pea soup. I eventually run into Justin and see that he's been having more luck than I have finding shark teeth. I'd get into an area, I'd be like, all right, it's it's about to happen. And, it, and the ocean would go, oh, you were looking for a tooth? No. You just want a little meg? No. And I was grabbing shells. I was grabbing bone that looked like teeth, but no. All right, Justin, how'd you do, buddy? Uh, not, not very good, but I didn't get skunked, so. Yeah, actually, you may have done the best. I <laughs> thought I had set the bar, fellas. <laughs> I was swimming around. I came across a honey hole, and and I thought I was <laughs> definitely going to be the guy oh, with, the, <laughs> with the best teeth. <laughs> oh, and Kevin's was translucent. Holy moly! Yeah, that was that was a rough one. Here are some of Justin's finds. I mean, these are Meg teeth, but we normally do a lot better here. God, that looks like the swan. I think it's from the swan. <laughs> <laughs> We use the same dive bags that have been on a river with us. So a lot of times when we're pulling out our ocean finds, there'll be a couple freshwater finds mixed in there. Yeah, the That's exactly. Are That's funny, man. <laughs> so tank number one wasn't very kind to us. Uh, Justin found a couple megs. Kevin found none. I really found none. So onward to the next site. I know, it, you know, we just got to be patient. Got to keep hunting. And uh, eventually we're going to get on the pile of teeth. All right, we are on our second spot today. Kevin and Justin and myself are fired up. We didn't find much on that first dive, and this spot, well, honestly, it looks a lot like uh, the first spot we dove from up here, but fingers crossed. See it. As I scan these familiar locations, I quickly realize that the hurricane didn't uncover as much as I had expected. Everything is covered in silt, making fossil hunting more challenging. I'm discovering the fossilized bone fragments from the animals Megalodon ate, but no Megalodon teeth. Here are Justin's finds. This is his best tooth of the day. Kevin found the most teeth and some nice ones too. Uh, I didn't find one complete mag. That's how it goes sometimes and you just gotta enjoy the ride and be grateful that you're underwater. All right, part two of my dive with Kevin and Justin. Last time we dove together, I got skunked, didn't find any teeth. Today we are on a new site. The hurricane just moved through here. It should have uncovered a lot of great discoveries, new fossils, bones, mammoth teeth, megalodon teeth. So we are on the hunt. Come on with us. As my dive begins, I notice that the water conditions have improved since our last hunt. Big schools of jacks circle me the entire dive. The area feels sharky. A remora fish, also known as a shark sucker, follows me trying to attach. Once I find my first fossil, that uneasy feeling quickly fades. This was tank number one for me. I mean, honestly, not much. I got a broken meg. I found uh, a really nice horse tooth. This is an ice age horse tooth and a whale ear bone, a small piece of turtle shell. These are some bone sections to mammoth horse, but Justin 
found a massive broken meg. This would have been a beautiful tooth if it had been whole, really big from a big shark. And he also got a little Ice Age tooth. So I know that we're not far from where we need to be, but we're not on the site yet. So we're gonna do a little bit more scouting and fine tune where we need to be diving. I came up after an hour and like ate a sandwich and chilled for like 25 minutes. Yeah, it's like I, well, saw, I, you I saw you in the boat. That was you, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. And I, I came, came up, did you see me like way out there? No. Yeah. yeah, you probably wouldn't have. You I saw was, me on the boat? Uh, yeah, but I was far. Yeah. I've got a plan of approach for the next you dive. 50 cow, right? That is, that's exactly what that is. Fired from a pilot in training. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. Got, like, one broken yeah, Justin got a big broken one. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just... Nice man. Thank you, thank you. Tank number two. We're going for the second tank. That beast! And I got a beautiful mammoth tooth right by it. Oh my god. Isn't that, that amazing? That is a monster. That would have been a huge shark. <laughs> Check that out. This is definitely the biggest tooth I found this year and maybe one of the biggest teeth I've ever found. I couldn't believe it. Shortly after I found that mammoth tooth, I spotted this, just a, a, a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, man. I know. I, I just, yeah. It was like one of those things out of a dream where you see it laying there, and even though you expect to find it, it's still hard to believe. So excited, so stoked. All right, that dive was incredible. I felt like a kid at Christmas. It wasn't long before I found this beautiful two-tone Colombian mammoth tooth. And these things are incredible, you know, just a relic from our ice age here in Florida when the ocean was much further out and all of this was dry land. And I love these teeth. I never get tired of finding them. They are so exciting. But let's be honest. When I come out here for a dive out in the middle of the ocean with the sharks and all of the big marine life, this is what I'm hoping to find. This is an absolute dream. Finding this tooth is, I haven't measured it yet, but I know based on the size, it's gonna be over six inches. And what a massive animal this came from. Five to 10 million years old and just unbelievable. I could just see a little bit of the black color and you saw I captured it on camera. I was able to slowly fan it out. It was, well, that was an experience I will never forget. Holy moly. You, <laughs> Kevin, you ready? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. I know, man. How big is it? I don't know. It's over six. Is it really? It's, well, it's yeah, gotta it's be. Six. It's six. <laughs> I can only imagine how much this thing weighs, too. That was a big uh, shark. Let me get down here. Yeah, man. And then I got that mammoth tooth right behind you on the seat. All right, that's not what I pictured it looking like. Well, it's a small one. All right. Dude. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a monster. I have a measuring tape in my bag. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, let's get it, man. Yeah. We can find out how long this thing is. We've been wondering. Dude, that's, I was it's thinking. Right now. Okay, I was thinking it was going to be like 
six and three eighths. Okay, okay. This is exciting. What if I was like, well, I got bad news. I got one bigger. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the longest side. So let's see. One eighth. Two sixteenths. One eighth. Okay. Six and an eighth. Six and is it filming right now? It is, but the back's off. <laughs> it's what the back is black. Yeah. Six and an eighth. God, what a dive, dude! I can't believe this thing. Nice, it's on the nicer end, you know. When I saw it underwater, it looked like a seven inch. I was like, Oh, I found my seven! <laughs> you know, everything's magnified, so it was like I sent up a buoy right where I found this. So, me, Justin, and Kevin are gonna go right back to where I just scored this huge tooth, and hopefully, we find some more and some more mammoth teeth. I scored that beautiful Colombian mammoth tooth, and it was just laying there. Waiting to be found. Maybe it's been waiting a thousand years. Who knows? This was the mammoth tooth I found on that last dive. But Justin, you scored uh, some nice teeth, right? Show me that Meg you just found on that last dive. Man, that's a pretty tooth. That's another upper, you know? You gotta love that shape. The dive knife to boot. Wow. I gotta tell you, I'm feeling redemption after diving with these guys the other day and not finding a thing. Today, two Colombian mammoth teeth and a Megalodon tooth that measures over six inches in length, which for Venice is a really good score. You can't ask for anything more than a tooth like this. That's what it's about. That is why we spend the hours searching these sites in the Gulf of Mexico. 